Greetings, I'm Epic Titus, and this is Epic Tech. I am picking up everything I own, and we are heading off to see what we can see and do what we can do. I am going to go ahead and leave this little structure here. But, oh, I might have to leave behind this large chest with a few things in it. Those, and this, and that. And we're going to go find ourselves a new home. So I could fast travel to this beach here. And then move along the coast, looking for a nice spot. I kind of want to be on this, or maybe even on this island here. There's no way to fast travel to this island, though, so we would need to make a ship to get on and off of it, which would be cool. Here, let's let's fast travel to... Yeah, let's fast travel right down to here. I want to see what it looks like. I am hungry. I wish the water looked a little bit more realistic, you know, like... Actually, like, lapping. I mean, it is kind of moving a little bit, which is cool, but I'd love to see it actually, like, have waves and stuff. I think I think they're a long way away. It is a mod. It's not, you know, official content or anything. And, of course, you know, cows like to swim sometimes. Just like in the real world. Hi, cow. How's it going? So that out there is the island. I don't know that I want to be on an island, though. I mean, I could. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, <laughs> perhaps not. I mean, it could be fun to be on an island. But travel in and out of there would be a little bit pickle. I don't think I want to be on a mountain either. Ooh, flax. Okay, that's worth dropping something out of my inventory for. I don't need these. through this pass, am I? Maybe if I do a lot of back and forth. Ooh, come on. I'm close. I'm close. I don't think that's going to happen. Okay. Down we go. Hey, hey. Sound of snow. I love that little crunch. So good. Alright. This is looking pretty cool. Still, I want to get to that little narrow part over there. It's going to be a bit more of a run. And that's going to kill me, so let's not go that way. Take some free tin. Why not? You want? Dip my toes in the water. Raw oyster. Huh. I had no idea. 
Well, that's cool. I wonder if I'll find any more of those. All right, let's see. So I'm kind of thinking if I go over to this area, I'll have quick access to a road. I'll have a water channel. I'll have a little lake here. Maybe I can even build a bridge across. That'd be a big bridge. Can I swim across this? Let's find out. Yes, yes I can. It looks goofy, but I can. The game thinks I'm falling is what's going on here. It's kind of hilarious. I've invented a new way to swim, everybody. Okay. More oysters? Here we go. Look at that. We got ourselves a nice little private lake. Huge beach. A road over there. Lots of trees there. So I'm thinking this is going to be at least our li little vacation spot. And we can always travel and get other things. So on a nice little flat spot to start with. And then I'm also planning on doing, like, some farming. So, if we clear kind of this area here, this should be good. This should be good. This is where we're setting down roots, everyone. Got like that? Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. That's not how trees work. What are you doing up there? Hey, there we go. I'm gonna need to st start stockpiling stuff. And I just realized I don't think I have any stockpiles. So I need to figure that out. Let's see. Stockpiling. Don't, don't abandon the quest. I want to start it. Okay. I need eight planks and a wooden stick. Hurrah. Okay. A roll of thatch. Oh, that's right. You can now make thatch from sticks. Which is... Very nice. Boah. Excellent. So I'm thinking some stairs out front. Kind of like that, except working. Get, get, get out of the... Can I get it? There. There we go. Like that. There we go. Let's get this. I'm thinking one, two, three... Get out of my way. Should be a nice little cozy house. I can do a second floor if I want. Yeah, I can live with that. So let's go ahead and put up some floor. And then let's move these things up to the platform. Hmm. I need some food, but I'm thinking I kind of want to try some of the upgraded food stuff. 
So, I have not yet made a campfire. I think it's time to make a campfire. Hey, hey! Yeah. What can I make here? I can make... I can cook salad, because that makes sense. And hodgepodge. Hodgepodge actually has vigor, so that's a good thing. Roots and mushrooms. That's also a good thing. Okay. Let's make a small chest. Let's place it right there. There's mushrooms. Oh, hey, what is this thing? I gained a what? Seaweed. Oh, it counts as a vegetable. Well, that's cool. Okay. Oh, look at this. There's copper, like, right next to my house. Beautiful. I will take some. So that'll be interesting. If that mine gets too deep, it's going to actually intersect with the water. And I'll have a flooded mine. Let's get this cooked up. And... And then I wanted to make myself a little bit of hodgepodge and start working on vigor. There we go. Make me... Oh, wow. I can make ten of those? Beautiful. Okay. And then... I want to see if I can make a copper cauldron. I also want to eat some of this hodgepodge because I'm hungry. There you go. You see that little symbol up there? That means my vigor is increasing. Once it gets high enough, I will actually increase my stamina and health and food. Now, what can I do with this cauldron? Can I just set it on the ground? Or... Oh, here we go. A tripod bonfire. One flax. Well, I have one flax. Somewhere. Wooden sticks and a small stone. Okay. So I need some things. Oh! Ow! Ow! Oh. Ow! Mm. Oh. Uh, apparently oh. I'm on fire. Oh. Oh. That was interesting. How is that one of my mods? I don't know why that happened. I should now be able to make... Let's see, I need one flax straw, and I had one... Where did, where did I have that flax straw? Where did I leave that flax straw? You can now I'll make, make that, that from sticks. sticks. Which is very nice. I had one. Where did it go? Did I... <gasps> did it use it to make the stupid thatch for the roof instead of sticks? It probably did. That's unacceptable. So, let me swim across, and I'm going to find myself some thatch, because... I want to make this tripod. Okay, so I partially came across because of that, uh, because of the road, but also this is the kind of area where I would find thatch. And hey, I'll grab some herbs while I'm here. There we go. There's a piece of thatch right there. Flax. I said flax. You misheard me. This reminds me a lot of my home in my uh, last season. The mountains and the forest and the fields. I'm going to gather some wheat while I'm here, too. Hey, another map piece. Nice. And a sheep. Hello, sheep. No? Okay. You know, when I make a fairy, I'm going to make it one of those rope fairies. I can't remember what they're actually called. In the Middle Ages, when they wanted to cross something like this, they would have basically a, a boat on a chain. 
and would attach at both sides, and they could pull it across. The ferryman would just sit there and crank or pull or whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Sweet. This better be <laughs> worth what I just went through to get it. A tripod bonfire. Put it... There. Ooh, look at this. We got boiled cabbage. Porridge, which requires flour, so that's not going to happen. Root broth. Interesting. And then the other ones. That's okay. Ooh, I have three of the four map pieces. Nice. One more. Well, the chances of me getting the actual fourth one, or the next one that I get, are basically non-existent, so... I'm not going to say one more, because that's not accurate. I can throw seaweed in there, as well as oysters, right? No? Oh. I assumed it would be food. Apparently it is not. You know what? Let's go ahead and do this. Gather two flax, wheat, pumpkin, whatever. Okay. Where did I have? Wheat. Wheat would be a good thing. So we're going to craft a seed bag. Okay, and we need to equip a hand plow, which means we need to make a hand plow. I think I can make a bronze one. Yes. Just need some timber. <laughs> okay, congratulations, you are now a farm engineer. Um, and now I have to harvest those things, which... Well, that's going to be a while, because I have to plant it and grow it. Okay. Well, let's clear out a whole bunch of this area and start up a little farm. Ow! How did that not kill me? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. What are the chances that I would get one of each map piece as the first four? Like, one in 16? No. No, that doesn't sound right. I might have to calculate the odds because... Because I just like doing that. I'm weird, I know. You know what? I'm going to get these seeds planted real quick. And then... We're going to go do a little treasure hunt. And there we go. So eventually we'll come back and find those nice and grown. But for now, yeah. Let's go on an adventure. So should we do the journeyman, the scribe, or the trader? So the nice thing about the scribe is that you can find knowledge, like, and you don't have to go through the research, but the trader can give you some really nice things. Oh man, so can the journeyman. Equipment could be nice. Especially early on, finding like steel equipment. But the scribe can get you unique things. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, hard. Okay, we're going to go for the journeyman. And then I want to make a tool rack. Because we're not going to need some of the tools. So I'm going to put that over here next to the door. There we go. That's from a mod, by the way. Let's go on a journey. Half a kingdom away, roughly to the southeast. Okay. Half a kingdom. Oh, good grief. So it's going to be down in this area somewhere. Well, this is going to be a bit of a journey. Haha. <laughs> I tricked it. 
very close, slightly to the east. Extremely close to the east. And there it is. Ooh, a bronze sword. Yes, please. And a steel axe. This is what I'm talking about. Another treasure piece. A couple of iron ingots. And some leather strips. I can live with that. And north. Straight north for a while. I'll sneak up on it. It'll never know. Nah, I don't care. Also, it's making the sound of a deer. Just saying. And... It's doing the whole can't access the inventory like a deer, too. You know, I'm that strong that I can just throw a deer or a cow over my shoulder and carry it with me. It's perfectly reasonable. Ah, there it goes. Anything? Aha! Meat. And leather. Hide. I'll make it into leather later. Ooh, flax. Any more around here? Flax is something that I really need to get a lot of fairly quickly. Oh boy. My home is over there. Can I get there from here? Mm, yes. Very quickly I can. Quickly and painfully. There she is. Home sweet home. We need to make some lights and some beds. Well, a bed and some lights. Can I make a bed right now? I don't know if it's something that I have learned or... Yeah, okay, I have. Make a bed. For now, we're just going to slap this down right here. I love looking at the stars while sleeping. Well, not literally looking at the stars while sleeping. That would be silly. Here we go. Good morning, everybody. And I'm going to go ahead and claim this so that if I die, I end up back here instead of some random place in the middle of nowhere. Also, before I do anything with herbs, I want to make sure that I have some seeds for herbs. As long as you keep some seeds, then you never run out. You just have to be patient. Look at my modest little garden. Looking great. I think this is a good start, everybody. I'm going to think next episode we'll continue to work on this little house. My plan is to have this where I'm standing be a porch. These two blocks back here to be a work area. And then an upper floor to be like my bed and maybe some additional storage and more personal effects kind of things. So maybe I'll put a wardrobe up there just for looks, that kind of thing. We're going to expand the farm, cut down more trees. We're going to make a ferry across so that we can use the road for fast travel. And yeah. Obviously, we also need to make a big old ship and a dock so that we can sail we're going to have a lot of fun this season, guys. I'm excited. You have no idea how much ex excitement is in me right now. I also need to start working on... Well, a lot more things, actually. <laughs> One of the ones I want to work on is fine cuisine. So that I can make an oven and... Oh, hey, look at this. Cook a crab. So many things. So many things. I love reading your comments, so please keep them coming. And I think that's about it. I'll see you next time on Epic Tech.